forgot my waders. Good morning, welcome back to another video. I forgot my waders, classic Brian. Well, uh, yeah, forgot my freaking waders. So well, I'm gonna be fishing from the shore. It's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna be casting out super far. And uh, yeah, we're gonna catch one for you guys. <laughs> Size three hot fire tiger meps. It's gonna be good. Let's get after it. I think I'm gonna do the unthinkable. I think I'm gonna free leg it. What? I think I'm gonna free leg it. So you're gonna walk into the water? I think so. Not your jeans on. I'm gonna roll them up. All right. Clearly, I can't let him have this extra five foot advantage in the water so i'm gonna just take my or not take my jeans off i'm gonna roll my jeans up to my like knees and just wade out into the water and uh hopefully i don't get hypothermia it's not that cold actually it's pretty hot and uh i may take the sweatshirt off too actually it's pretty warm yeah it should be fun i think a few extra inches is gonna help you that i mean they say right i haven't heard that <laughs> not use your full thrust. wait if you roll your jeans up and you walk out you're gonna be just as far as you were when you're standing up there no, I'm not. Minus the view. Well, you're not that far, actually. Well, you're gonna go up to your knees or something? Yeah. Something like that. So many, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's so many. Look to your right. I know, I, I saw Dude, they're that. everywhere. Yeah, I see. The water is actually not that bad. It looks like smell. Do you mean you uh, smell like what? Color wise or? <laughs> uh, no, like cold wise, cold wise. I'm already used to it. By used to, you mean you can't feel your legs anymore? That's far enough. Yeah, pretty much. No, no, it's not that bad actually. It's pretty warm. Right. I hope you guys can see all these little fish pretty crazy there's like thousands of them none of this sounds good it doesn't taste good man beer that... beer tastes pretty good they're all, they're all gone now where'd they go they heard your story about swallowing uh Claws. Oh yeah. Oh, I got one. Fish on, baby. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that looks small. What do you think that was? A little coho, a little tiny resident coho. <laughs> Spit the hook right out. Bending your rod though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think it was the weight of the spinner. <laughs> the, the friction from the water. He had some spunk to that little guy. Could have been a little trout. Could have been, yeah. Pineapple sharks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> lemon shark. Cran baby. Cranberry apple. I swam with lemon shark. Oh, yeah? An aquarium? Oh, that's a jelly right oh, there. The... Don't touch that. Where? Right there. That's not, a, that's not a dangerous one. I don't know. I do. I'll touch it. You won't. Oh shit, that looked smaller in the water. I thought there was less to it than that in the water. Well, yeah, bring it here. It looks delicious, actually. <laughs> what do you call one of those? I don't know what these are. Pretty cool though, huh? Tops fell. Like, you can't even tell like how does this thing even eat? Like what is it? What? Here's a piece of jello. 
Is that, is that even a jellyfish? Or yes, is it? it is. <laughs> I, what do they? How do they live? I don't know. Probably like I've never, photosynthesis, I, I've never maybe. Really or did those ones. Thousand years later. Gonna strap a uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna draw, tie a dropper loop, put some weight on it, and see if I can cast it out really far. That's the plan. So we've been fishing this spot for about two hours now, and um, I feel like we're not really getting out that far and we're catching a lot of these really small fish. So I have a little plan. I've never actually really done this before, but I decided to tie on, I decided to tie on a basic little dropper loop onto my line here and I attached a weight. So I have my main line down to the dropper loop with this weight and then I have the spinner. So the idea here would be to try and get out a little bit further. Maybe that's where the bigger fish are hiding. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. We'll see if we can get on some bigger boys this time. It must have been on low battery for a while. Yeah. Oh, there's a... Easy there. Try one at a time. Hold on. Dude, what do you think that is, man? About, about a five pounder? That's a hatchery, right? I don't know, but this hook went through his eye. Like right <laughs> through the middle of his eye. Oh no, I guess we have to keep it. Wait like, a minute. That has a really dark mouth though. Really? Look at that. Dude. Where are those hooks that we had last time? We had those last time? Those were Sibling or friend, it's like a really stupid conversation makes no sense. Sure. When you're talking about something, but you, it doesn't really matter because you're focused on something else. It's just something to fill the time. But because you're so focused on this other thing, you don't really realize or think about or comprehend what you're fish. really talking about. You got a fish, baby. Fish on. Fish on. What, what, we, what you just experienced was Lego cup. And now you got yourself a co Hey, your phone's not recording. It is. It's not? I don't know. There's like some letters on it. Interesting. Wait, maybe it is, but there's like something in front of it, like words. So this is what we've been catching. These little coho. Little baby coho. It's and uh, we're not going for these fish. Barbless hook comes right out. But... They're welcome to be on my hook. Ah, it smells so good. Ah. Is it a hatchery coho? Yeah. All right, all right. We're back at the apartment now. I realized that I completely forgot to film an outro for you guys because I wasn't really sure if I was going to make this into a video. So we kind of just got up and left that fishing spot. So I just wanted to quickly explain what happened. So the first spot that we were at, uh, we weren't catching much besides those really small salmon. So I had the idea, hey, maybe since we're here targeting king salmon, which is what we were doing, why don't we add some weight to the line to see if we can cast it out farther? So that's what we did. Didn't work in the original spot. So we moved over closer to the lighthouse where those rocks were that had sort of a ledge. So we were able to get a little bit of a height advantage and we were able to cast out a little bit farther. And that didn't really work out. So <laughs> as you saw, but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what the fishing adventures have been. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification because next week, 
I am coming out with a super cool video. And without spoiling too much, I go to a different state and we go after some very toothy large fish. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that one, you don't want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love seeing all the comments that you've been posting on my videos and responding to all of them. It's super cool to see how much feedback I'm getting from you guys and I love it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, tight lines y'all. Mm -hmm.